So we set off to the Yorkshire Dales to start the Three Peaks Challenge of Yorkshire, and the aim is to complete it under 12 hours. We managed to find a campsite in Chapel Dale, and it was full of border collies, territorial ones. And here's my handy girl skills putting up our two men tent. Ta da! See that? Dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. And because we arrived the night before the challenge, we thought we'd just pop out for a walk just to get a feel for the area. And we went to the Ship Inn pub. And believe it or not, that was a children's lasagna meal. And there's a lot of sheep around but all gorgeous views. And then we had plenty of rest for the challenge ahead. I'll leave a link to the campsite below because it was actually situated on the route itself. They even had a refreshments bar so like teas, coffees, cooked breakfasts and whatnot. And I have to say this is probably the best place to start. And it's a 7.28 start! Five minutes ago we started the Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge. I found Ingleborough definitely the hardest one to climb, so I definitely recommend getting out of the way first. And try to make sure you have some sort of breakfast beforehand because that's where I really failed and it got the better of me later. We forgot the sandwiches! But hopefully there's a cafe or two en route. And we've got loads and loads of snacks. Who's enjoying themselves? Moo! got almost to the top and it just doesn't look as daunting anymore if you can see our personal trainer in the background pissing on something so this is Ingleborough the best thing to do is to download some maps in advance because you'll struggle to get any kind of signal and we did see a couple quite early in the morning that overtook us but actually lost track and make sure you've got some sort of travel charger to uh, charge up your phones because you'll need it This part was the hardest. I was definitely on my hands and knees and realised I needed some sugar immediately. I was almost sick and flared up with heat. It was really terrifying. It was just so early. We didn't fancy anything for breakfast. You can get yourself a key. Once I had some chocolate, I was sorted for the rest of the day. Thank God. And loads of other snacks. And there's a couple I was telling you about that eventually got lost. So it's four past nine, I've done nearly 9,000 steps. And uh, I needed a hell of a lot of sugar because I had some sort of panic attack, head rushy thing and felt really, really, really sick. And the clouds are pretty much cuddling us. These were totally lush. Because there's so much sheep about and our dog likes to pull us, I had to put his head collar on and it worked a treat. It was so energetic but it did die off eventually. to lose most of the time actually walking from mountain to mountain or well, the really hills and then we found one of the very few cafes and apparently if you do start the challenge a lot of people sign in here and then clock out at the end to get some sort of certificate or medal or t-shirt I believe 
and they do the cheesiest toasties. But again, it's really busy and we lost an hour there too. So we're off again. And this time we're not alone and we're all heading up to Penny Ghent. It was tough, I'm not going to deny it, but it certainly wasn't as hard as Ingleborough. areas are not a short distance away and we thought we'd have a few emergency snacks and it was time to feed the dog and I love my mini Swiss army knife it's so useful nom nom and our feet really did start to blister at this point. Wernside is the highest hill but we found it the easiest because it was the most gradual. We were so high you could even see the sea and I think it was Morecambe. We made it! Hans, did you make it? Oh, fist bump! a celebratory sandwich to walk down with. I notice I'm very gingerly stepping down as my feet were absolutely cut up at this point. So it's now 6.58, we've, we've officially taken 11 and a half hours. My uh, feet feel blistery. I've done 63,685 steps, uh, 26.56 miles, 3,556 calories burnt and 669 flights of stairs and uh, I can't wait for some sandwiches that we accidentally left behind this morning and maybe some cider and I'm going to put my feet up I'm from Yorkshire, I don't care who you are <laughs> Looks like our little furry friend is dog tired. We did so, so well. The smell of cheap boo though. And once we got home, we had a well deserved foot soak. And I can confirm I broke all records on my Fitbit. So that was excellent. So our first camping meal is just a bit random because we're using up stuff we've got.